this question of, of having an advanced directive um, is really um, it's important and I think that um, it you would be surprised how few people even understand what those two words next to each other mean and we could do a whole segment and I think we will do a whole segment on it we'll put some information up on the website and um, other things but the bottom line an advanced directive basically what it is is a um, an agreement that's a written down plan of in the event that um, if I am the senior, in the event that I am somehow incapacitated and unable to express my wishes, I want you to know in advance, this is my directive to you about what I want you to know about what my wishes are. And it's around a number of different things. So the big things that we think about are, if my heart were to stop beating, would I want to be resuscitated? So that means say you are um, found fallen on the side of the road and your heart isn't beating and we call 911 and you have this advanced directive and, and you for some reason have it on your person, which would be amazing, it's unlikely, but you know, um, say you did and they saw do not resuscitate, then they would come and they wouldn't do CPR. Um, if I stopped breathing, um, would I want a breathing tube or not? If I stopped eating on my own, would I want a feeding tube? If I got an infection, would I want antibiotics? And it sort of just goes through all of the what ifs that could happen. Um, and if these things happen and I'm unable to express my wishes, this is what I want to have happen. 